three challenges. Number one, what is your name? My name is Pamela Zulalian, and I'm fast on my back. Number two, what is your name? My name is Pamela Zulalian, and I'm fast on my back. Number three, what is your name? My name is Pamela Zulalian, and I'm fast on my back. Only one is the real Pamela Zulalian, and has sworn to tell the truth. Ooh, all right, we'll be right back to find out which one is the real Pamela Zulalian, and what she means by being fast on her back right here on To Tell the Truth. Hell's Captioning is sponsored in part by... To tell the truth, panel and audience, you know the way the game is played. Our three ladies here all claim to be the real Pamela Zulalian. Two are lying, and only one is signed a statement swearing to tell the truth, so please open up your affidavits that you have right in front of you. Follow along with me as I read the sworn testimony of the real Pamela Zulalian. I, Pamela Zulalian, am a speedster with style. As a world record holding land loser. I make my mark speeding down city streets on my back a half inch off the ground. I got started several years ago coasting through the suburbs with a homemade board. Looking for a little competition, I slid to the pros rolling through events around the world, including the X and the Gravity Games. While I make my living designing surfwear, it's my need for speed that has given me a real ride. The road in this predominantly male sport has been bumpy but nothing gives me greater satisfaction than to cruise past my opponents, reminding them that they've just been spanked by a chick. Signed, Pamela Zulalian. <laughs> all right. Panel and audience, our three ladies all claim to be the real. Lady Landloser, which one is it? We start with Meshack Taylor. Thank you, John. Number one, where are you from? I am from San Diego. And number two? Pasadena. Uh, number three, where did the luge originate? Uh, lots of theories. Most people say on the West Coast, Oregon. Okay. Uh, but number three, what kind of wheels are you using on this luge? They're like skateboard wheels, but they're bonded tighter. Okay. Number two, what millimeter wheels do you use on your board? It depends. And what does that depend on, darling? It, it would depend on the type of course that okay. we ride. Number one, uh, what, what millimeter wheels do you use? <laughs> All right. Endearing himself to number two with the use of the word darling. darling. I heard it right mm -hmm. here. I got Paula, a little on to you. On her right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something almost country western came out of Thank him right you. then. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, number one. <laughs> Where would you lose if not on land, <laughs> lady? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the whole point of the sport is to go downhill fast. Uh-huh. So, uh... Well, that, that would be on land, would it not? <laughs> um, all right, let me ask you this. Um, number two, you design uh, um, uh, surfwear? Mm-hmm. How often does the world need another surfing outfit? As often as a person thinks they need another outfit. I see. How, where, who do you design it for? I design for a company called Eleven. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three, how do you be a pro land loser? Um, to be a pro land loser, you start with smaller races and then you build up until you can do the professional circuit. Number one, where do you find the land luge races? Uh, well, I get invited to them based on my competitions and um, my place. But the first time, the first time ever, you 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 were invited. All right, Paula, you are. Paula, you are particularly loquacious in the area of mm. lady land losers, I might say. Yes. Brian, on to you. Number three, uh, where were the first X Games held? The first X Games, were, I think they were held in California, in San Diego. And number one, same question? Um, they were held in San Francisco. San Francisco, okay. Uh, number two, so you compete against men, is that correct? Yes, I do. And who is the top male competitor in your field? Um, gosh, that's hard to say. I mean, the field is so good right now, it kind of switches around. You should be a politician, number two. <laughs> Num number one, uh, Number one, when did you start doing this? Uh, about four years ago. And, and number one, also, uh, you got bored with, uh, you know, rollerblading or something? Or how, how did you? <laughs> yeah, um, actually, my boyfriend was on these hills, and I, he just dared me one day, and I kind of 
beat him, so I got into it. Okay. Number three, what was the, the time of your record? Hmm. All right, on to Molly Colbert. Um, number two, what was the time of your record? Um, it was 65.64 miles an hour. Wow. How far, how far did you go? How far is the course? Actually, I don't even know. I think it was about a half a mile. Number three, do you have brothers? I have one brother. Older or younger? Younger. Younger. Number two, do you have brothers? I do. Um, now, uh, number three, you design surfwear? Yeah. Do you surf? No, I don't. But um, the, the outfits I design are like surf-inspired clothes, extreme-inspired clothes. Okay, number two, do you surf? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, the sound of time is up. And it's time now for our celebrity panel to lock in their votes without discussion. Is it number one, number two, or number three? And at this time, we'll ask our studio audience here to cast their votes as well. We're going to be right back, and we're going to find out how everybody voted and who the real lady, land, loser is right here on To Tell the Truth. <laughs> Welcome back to To Tell the Truth. One of our challengers is the real Lady Land Loser, Pamela Zulalian. Now, my tongue has never worked so hard, and my, no, never mind any of that. We're going to pay $1,000 for every incorrect vote. Meshach Taylor, we'll begin with you. For whom did you vote? Well, uh, thank you, John. Uh, all of them had a lot of really good information. Uh, number one and number two have on uh, some beautiful leathers that are made by the same people who made my motorcycle leathers. So I, I don't think it was them. Uh, and it kind of puts it on number three, and that's who I voted for, and here she is, like, coming down on that lose. <laughs> ah, the lose, all right. As always, we appreciate the artwork. <laughs> Paula, on to you. For whom did you vote? Man, I, I, don't have a, I don't have a clue, and I probably should have used some Walton's questions on this one. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times, that's the only way to get to the bottom of these things. Uh, I'm going to say that the Lady Land Loser... Uh, la, 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 was number one. <laughs> On to Brian Cranston. Well, it's deduced this way. Mm -hmm. I think it was the X Games were originally in Rhode Island. I think that's, and, and it was San Diego and San Francisco mm. from number three and number one, so I voted for number two. Okay, down the line. <laughs> Molly? I gotta tell you, I don't know. Uh, this, I'm wondering about design surfwear if you don't surf. That's yeah. what I was thinking. And uh, for some reason, I didn't think number one. And I think that's the haircut I would want if I was gonna be in a helmet all the time. I no. guess. Uh, <laughs> ah, all right. Very Easy interesting. To fix. Going in and out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, you end up with really bad hair. And boy, do I know what that's like. Well, some, <laughs> there are days when some of my hair looks lousy. Anyway. <laughs> time now to find out what our audience thought. <laughs> oh, also. Closely contested, number two gets the nod with 37%. Time now to find out which one of our players is the real Ladyland loser. <laughs> Will the real Pamela Zulalian please stand up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is said and done, it always comes down to the hair, doesn't it? Pamela, we'll come back to you in just a minute. Let's meet our team of imposters. Number one, you got a single vote. You did a very nice job. Who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Marilyn Ann Abar, and I'm a spokesmodel. Thank you very much for being with us. You did a good job. And down on the end, number three, who are you and what do you do? My name is Kim Wheeler, and I'm a receptionist. Nice to meet you. Thank you both for being with us. Pamela, this... Um, Obviously, as we, as we waltzed up and down our panel here, it's not These a sport These are Lady Land Lose Your Liars! <laughs> <laughs> this is not a sport that a lot of people know about. Is it becoming increasingly popular? It really has been since, since the X Games began. Um, God, I think it was about six years ago, seven years ago. A lot more people have gotten involved in the sport. We have, you know, a lot more organizations internationally that are putting on events for us throughout the world, which is awesome. I mean, we're having a blast doing this. Well, thank you very much for being with us. We have two incorrect votes. Our team of challengers will be splitting $2,000. We come to the end of another show. I thank my wonderful celebrity panel, Meshach Taylor, Paula Poundstone, Brian Cranston, and the lovely Molly Culver. John O'Hurley here saying I'll see you next time right here on To Tell the Truth.